okay who is she who i feel like i'm beyonce all right one of you guys requested to do an old hollywood curl look and as you know, I can never let you guys down. I love creating looks for you guys. And this is definitely a cute Valentine's Day look or on a date. Very simple, very easy. Um, Obvio, I'm obsessed. Came out so good. I just wish my hair was longer, but it's healthy. That's all that matters. In the old Hollywood days, the hair was really short. It was like Marilyn Monroe show like this. So I'm not mad. I feel like my hair has already gotten longer since I cut it um, on, in December. Like, is it just me? Before I was like, could you not like maybe like, like really up here, but now it's definitely growing. Wow, I'm impressed. Before I get started, I do wanna show you guys what products I'm using, just so I don't have to say it as I'm doing it cause it's gonna be a lot so i'm going to start off with a heat protectant obviously olaplex number i always forget which one numbers there's so many of them olaplex number seven for a heat protectant and my ends only i'm only going to put heat protectant on my ends so if you put it at the root your hair is going to get oily also this is day three hair i just lost my train of thought for that moment then for just for volume i'm going to use living proof perfect hair day this dry shampoo smells amazing just for softening i'm gonna use this finishing spray triple sec by dry bar this is gonna might give my hair you'll see for her after this video my hair is gonna be flawless and then for holds we use kenra's volume spray this is also a super hold finishing spray as well this holds my hair more this is more for the triple sec is more for like a soft touch then the brushes i'm going to use is the Tangle Tamer Ultra Brush to comb out the waves. So like to create the look, like you already see my hair isn't as curly, but to create that soft brushable um, curl look, I'm use this. And then to tease small sections, I'm using my Revlon teasing brush. This is just like for the small sections that don't really take a little bit longer, just to smooth out. I didn't even do it, my hair's already curled. So I was practicing a little bit with the curling iron I use. I haven't used a curling iron that I'm gonna use in a while. Then a clip just to divide your hair. Also, definitely not last but not least, alligator clips. You'll see why. You guys pretty much know why. Just to keep that each wave in place as it, I wait. Like if I want a wave to stay, you'll see in the end. Okay, okay, all right. Then I might use this oil in the end. I don't know yet because depending on how my hair does with the Olaplex, this is just to give that shine at the end. I might use the GCO Honey Oil, Honey Infused Hair Oil. Jisoo, I can never say that word. Jisoo, this is actually the smallest size because the original size is really expensive. And I was like, oh, no, no. And the curling iron I'm gonna be using is just Connor Infinity Pro. I've done this look in the past when I was blonde for my Halloween Great Gatsby. This is a while back, right when I just when I started my YouTube channel. But I'm gonna do it again, recreate the look again, but differently because my hair is black and it's not blonde, but with curling iron. I used it with a straightener. I used it with a tiny, tinier barrel, 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 Patty. You can create this look with a straightener with a smaller curling iron. I was always more comfortable with a curling, uh, not a curling iron, a straightener, because I just always did it like that. But this look, I want it to be more flawless curl. Like you can see right here, it's already creating that look because I already practiced in one curl. But I always done it with a straightener, but I have never really done it with a curling iron. So we're going to see. This is all going to be new for me. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to put the Olaplex on now. Just... Not that much. I'm just gonna put it in my ends because that's where we want our curls to be protected in here too. Just like the flyaways. Remember this is day three hair. 
day three hair is a little bit dirtier, you could do it on day two hair. I don't recommend you doing this style on day one hair because it's just not gonna last. I'm telling you right now, I've always done it on day three hair, never day two hair, because I feel like my hair is still, oh my God, I just put more. That was a mistake, but whatever. I'm just gonna glide it through. No such thing as too much heat protector. I just don't want to make it oily. Okay. Now that's, I really don't think I need the other oil. I'm just running through my fingers. Okay. Ow. That was like a knot right there. Okay. You can divide your hair in more sections, but what I usually do is throw most of it all the way up and then work my way upwards. So you could take a section like this. That piece doesn't belong there. This always happens to me. Okay, I'll do it this way. And then just wrap up your hair around. My hair is a little bit thicker. It is still a little bit finer as well. It's like the best of both worlds. I'll leave it on for like five to 10 seconds. You're supposed to leave it on for three seconds if you have finer hair, but my hair is a little thick. Okay, that one curl, <laughs> how cute. Guys, I used to do this look actually when I was in high school and I fried my hair. That's obviously when I wasn't, oh my God, my hair is so short. That's obviously when my hair wasn't curly. I wasn't on my curly hair journey. I think I started my curly hair journey in 2000. I'm gonna say 14 when I got into college, I graduated 2012. And then high school in 2012 and then I went to college still in 2012 but I think 14 like the second year that's when I really started embracing my curls okay how pretty that looks I find it's a lot more difficult with a curling iron because a straightener it's just easier I can't really explain it I feel like there's something in my eye right now So these are done, and there's definitely something white in my eye. You guys probably think I'm engaged, but I'm not. I bought this ring. <laughs> if you're wondering, I bought this ring for myself for my birthday because I'm a Leo, and it was supposed to be ruby, but it was not. It's not ruby. It's granite. Ruby came out a little bit pinkish, so I ended up getting um, granite instead. Okay. So as you can see, I have the curling iron facing towards my face, not away from my face. Like the curls, I will start curling down, not away. When you start seeing, continue seeing the rest of the video, when I work my way up, in the, especially in the crown area, I'll start curling my curls. It's so hard to curl with straight hair, I'm telling you. That's why I always use straightener. But when you start seeing the rest of the video, you'll start seeing that I will start curling away from my face, especially around my bangs and my face, you'll see. I like to spray hairspray at the actual curling iron because I feel like if I spray it on my hair, it's going to take longer for my hair to dry. Like, it'll just leave it a wet residue. And it leaves just the curls. If you if you actually spray, like, on the curling iron or whatever you're using, I noticed it gives it a more brushable look. So that's what I've been doing in the past, and it's been working. So 
That's why you saw me spray the volume spray on the curling iron. It just comes out a little bit easier and not as sticky if I put it directly on to my hair. Okay, so I basically did the sides. Now I'm gonna get to the back. The back is so hard for me because my, oh my God, no. Because my arms are gonna be up most of the time. Um, I mean, you're gonna see. Okay, so this section, I'm probably gonna tease it out a little bit here because I like the volume. In the front, not really the front. You're supposed to do it after, but I like to do it before as well. Oh, I just hit my ring light. And then I will just continuously part sections like this much, I think. That's pretty much it. It gets easier when my hair is longer, but when my hair is shorter, like in the bottom was a lot more harder for me because my hair has a lot of layers. So this hairstyle is going to come out really nice. It's just... It's really hard to do on layered hair. It's much, much, more, much, <laughs> much more easier to do it on a straight blunt hair style. But mine is not. It is very layered because it's curly most of the time. So yeah. I'm just gonna let that sink and my hand hurts already. And this is the only one. This is the first one. So I noticed my curls. I don't break them, obviously. You don't break them right away. Let it cool down. And stuff and then you'll brush it like you're gonna see the thing with um a uh, curling iron i noticed that the curls are a lot more relaxed which makes it look easier to achieve quicker but if you're using it if you're gonna use it with a straightener i noticed i know it's gonna last longer i don't know why but that's just my preference a straightener but i want to do something different for this video and use a curling iron so it's always good to try out new things now i'm gonna continue like you already see like the wave already starting to form without me brushing it like i can see like that one's gonna come out really pretty it's my favorite part brushing it this one you could do outwards because in the, gonna be in the back of our heads. The back of your head is ridiculous if you know where that is from. You are definitely my age if you don't. I'm obviously old. <laughs> I had a really weird day today at work. I work with kids. I'm a preschool teacher on the side, uh, assistant, and I just... I'm, I never vent to you guys when I'm doing hair, but I, it's just been on my mind. So I've been really off lately, this whole video actually, today. And I don't like when people make assumptions of me. It wasn't really nice. I didn't really have a good day today. And I wasn't going to do this video, but I feel like it's going to cheer me up just getting my hair done by myself. So oh, when I have a bad day, I always do some type of like self-care and i really really have bad days lately um especially the new year like i got into a better mindset with just like myself and the future and what it ha what's in store for me like i know good things are coming but when i'm around negative people my vibe just completely like i don't know what the word is it just it's just a sucky energy I mean, it wasn't like, I don't know. It was just, I, I don't know. I don't want to get that into it because like, I don't want to literally start crying on this video. <laughs> but yeah, it was definitely like an off day today. I know it's temporary, but sometimes coworkers could be assholes. But usually when someone's mean to you, it's because they don't really like 
themselves or their own lives. So they try to butt into your own life to nitpick if that makes any sense. Okay, I'm done venting. Um, but look how pretty it looks, guys. It looks so shiny. I love it. Okay. So yeah, I'm not one to like, <laughs> I thought I was done talking, but I'm not one to like tell you guys um, my problem because it's like, my problem is because it's like, you know, it is a safe space. It's always going to be a safe sp space, um, this YouTube channel. And, but I never really talk, I, I rarely talk about um, my feelings, but I do want to do that more because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that has assholes as co-workers okay i'm gonna do this section again because i feel like this curl i didn't hold it hold it long enough so i'm just gonna do it again and you guys do you guys know that when i was doing this my the curling iron just like turned off i guess i press the button i'm just so not used to this one but the curls are coming out really beautiful so i'm not mad but it turned off. I mean, I didn't notice. I was like, why isn't some of my curls burn curling? I was like, oh, that would do it. That would do it. Okay, so much better. Beautiful. Okay, this I want to fix. I'm probably most likely going to use my, yeah, I'm going to use my strainer for this piece right here. So what I usually do is I will take the curling. Like if I were to do all of it, that's what I would do. With all the curls, I would just, yeah, just to fix that part right there. Oh my god, it's gonna look so good. I'm so excited. So basically, this is the part I most likely, I always like leave here. I will fix it with the thing because I have such a huge flyaway right there. And then I'm gonna start bringing my hair to this side. Look how pretty it looks already, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, let me... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do small sections for this because this is the most important part, believe it or not. Well, everybody knows. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the Olaplex in the front because that's when my hair is the most fragile. Just at the end, you know? So that's another reason why I think my hair looks super shiny because of the Olaplex on um, the ends. Okay, that one came out really greasy, but it's okay. Cause it's gonna look fire. I cannot wait. Yeah, that one came, I put too much oil on that. It's okay, it's all good because we gotta protect our curls. Always. Always, always, cause gorgeous, gorgeous girls always protect their curls, even if they're not. Uh oh, it's just it's too slippery. Oh my god, guys, guys. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I got it now. That one's gonna burn me. Yeah, I may regret that one. Okay, that one was a little bit scary to do because um, it was so slippery. My hands are so slippery. I messed up on that. Hi. Okay, this is why I like the straightener better because I never burn myself. I just burn myself with my fingertips. I burn myself like at least five times. I'm just gonna rest my hand there for a second. <laughs> you guys, my hand is giving out i'm almost done but it's giving out clearly giving out okay Ooh. okay i love that touch i am so excited guys so this part right here this is my whole bang as you can see so for this section you're gonna start curling it outwards not for not towards your face so i'm gonna take this because i want to have that nice beautiful arch i don't like to have it like that in way you can have it in but i like to have it out so i'm going to take section by section and just take the curling iron oh my god i just turned it off 
not towards your face, away from your face. So you take a section like this, this small, to fix the mirror right there, because the curly hair. And you take this, you wrap it away from your face. Guys, I am having so much gray hairs. It is insane. I am gonna have to start dyeing my hair black. My roots black, because it's genetic and it runs in the family. Gray hairs, oh my God. Leave that there. All right, it's gonna create like a beautiful arch. You're gonna see. It's gonna look so good. I'm already obsessed with it. Before I do start brushing out, I'm gonna put the triple sec texturizing spray. This is literally just to make my ends look super shiny. Because they're already shiny, but to make it even more shiny, I'm gonna do that complete finish look to make it look softer. Okay, beautiful. And then I'm going to I don't want to start brushing now. I feel like I should. So yeah, my section is like really, I had a gray hair guys and like plucked it and all it right there is like red. So what I do is I usually like put this part a little bit down, part of my hair into like a little section like that. And then we'll start brushing out. You can use two things you could use the teasing brush, or you could just use this. And I know some of you guys are like scared because, oh no, I'm gonna use a teasing brush for the first round and then I'll, uh, I'm making so much noise. And then I will use the regular brush. To not get frizz, you're gonna hold your hair. So just like hold it so it doesn't get frizzy. And you're gonna continue doing the same thing. I think this brush, a teasing brush, is a lot more gentle because I don't want to take, remember, like all the curls out. I want to create that beautiful wave that we want. Okay, we're gonna continue doing that. And go inside. Yeah, teasing brush is a lot better, guys, because it just gives you what you want already. It doesn't, it's not harsh on the hair. And you're gonna continue doing this. Oh my God, I love this. You guys know, when I get married, this is my go-to, this is gonna be my wedding hair. But if my hair's not past my boobs, I'm getting extensions. <laughs> okay. Keep going. For this, I'll probably will brush it out with my hands and then this part is gonna be really tricky for me because my hair is in a layer. So you see, it's in so much layers. So I'm gonna have to really like brush it down. There you go, my hair. I hate how it's so flat right there. Okay, and then we'll do it to the next section. Okay, this section definitely needs the big guns because this one's a little bit more curlier. Go under. Beautiful. You're just kind of like molding your hair into the way you want. That is so beautiful. And continue doing it.
beautiful beautiful she's so beautiful this is gonna kill me right here the end of me okay what I'm gonna do is start putting my alligator clips where I want the pieces to hold because they're not gonna hold especially that one the little one that's bothering me the most in the crease where the curl just stops so like right here you see I'm gonna put about three just to hold it that holds like literally this whole side okay I'm gonna spray it this side is so beautiful oh did I miss a little curl right there Okay. I'm gonna put the oil just to hold that sleek look right there for me. Let's see. I'm gonna brush it through my ends. Okay, so now you wait an hour or so, 30 minutes, depending on do your makeup and stuff. I'm actually gonna get changed so it completes the look. And the end result came out amazing. I had to finish the look. I ended up putting some of the oil I never say this word gcu oil and a little bit of hairspray but i feel like the oil just makes it look a little bit more natural and just brought it behind my ear and that's pretty much it and then i left the clip-ons the clip-ons the alligator clips and brushed my hair a little bit more of my hands to make it more touchable but if you wanted to be like completely like stuck to your hair like you would have to put a lot of hairspray but this was more of a relaxed hollywood curl touchable curls i love it it came out so good with the curling iron i definitely like it a little bit better now because it just came the curls just came out so much more relaxed like who is she also i added volume to like i was not afraid to like wet in my hair with some of the living proof there's like a red hue because i'm like also doing a reel on the, si on the side i'm always doing a reel on the side when i'm doing this and just to add a little bit more volume, but I'm obsessed of you. I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day weekend. Be safe, love yourself. Remember, always put yourself first. This is honestly just for me. I'm not going out. I'm just doing it for me and for you guys. <laughs> I dare you to be curly.